Hi guys, okay so today I'm going to make a quick video on what's in my dock I've okay? been asked in the past to do these types of videos, I uh, just never really got around, I had the time but found the time today. Mind you having said that, this time is turning out to be an all day event because I keep getting error messages with this screen flow. So uh, I'll get started on it straight away. Okay so down here at the bottom we've got Finder which is self explanatory. Mail, I know there's lots of different types of mail. Um, software packages that you can get but I've got a mobile me account so this you know um, the the Apple mail works out really well for me uh, I have all my different mail accounts Google mail um, all just pushed into the one place and I have access to everything here so it just works out fine for me uh, Safari now uh, I've, tr I've got uh, Firefox and Google Chrome um, and when I was using Windows I had uh, I used to use Internet Explorer. For me, Safari, just my personal opinion, Safari is the best. I prefer out of all of them. Like I say, I've tried Firefox and Google Chrome, but I just can't get... I can obviously get the grips on them. I know what they are, but I just much prefer Safari. There's no more way around it better. Uh, okay, iChat and Skype. These two applications, guys, are just video conferencing, video calls, that type of thing. Um, I don't get to use these nearly half as much as I would like to. The end of the day, I've got three young children, guys. So, uh, school holidays, weekends, that type of thing. It's impossible for me to make videos or make calls to people who I want to talk to because there's a lot of noise in the house during the day, during the week when the kids are at school. That's when I get the most of my time to make videos or Skype calls or anything like that. So, um, I don't get to use this application nearly half as much as I'd like to just because the kids and it wouldn't be fair for me to tell the kids to be quiet and go out of the house while I sit and make a, a video and edit it and all the rest of it. Um, so that's iChat and Skype. This is a cracking little um, application. You can download this. I think it's about £14. It's called Transmit. When you want to move uh, files from your desktop to say somewhere in the cloud, like uh, in my case, the reason why I got this was for right up here. Uh, with your mobile me account you get a 20 gig uh, iDisk in the cloud and so when I when you drag and drop applications or pictures or whatever into this it just drags and drops you don't really get a gauge of how long it's going to take or how long it's left or anything at all like that this application transmit this gives you like a timeline how long is estimated it's going to take and how long is left plus it seems to do it a little bit faster uh, so this is a really good application. This isn't the latest one by the way guys. The latest one 4 has just come out which is supposed to be completely awesome. This is the, the, the one before that. Dashboard which is your widgets and stuff. Um, address book, iCal and calculator. Self explanatory. I use these all the time. Especially address book and iCal. Um, iTunes. Use this all the time. You know we tend now to just do everything on iTunes. I don't have any other music apps or anything like that. Um, these things that are popping up on the screen, I'll explain those to you in a second. Uh, up in the top right hand corner. Handbrake. Okay guys, this is fantastic. This is a free download that you get off the internet. I'm sure most of you already know about it, but if you don't know about it, um, I'll give you an example. On the odd occasion when we buy DVDs, we bring them into the house and if, when the kids are using them and they're swapping them between their bedrooms, the, the DVDs tend to get scratched. So what we do to avoid that is, as soon as we get the DVD, before the kids get to use it, we put it in the Mac, rip it up, or you know, convert it on handbrake, move the the file into you know the DVD new file into iTunes, keep it in there so that they we can then distribute it into their iPods, uh, and then also keep a copy of it on an external drive. Then if the disc gets scratched when the kids are putting it in their DVD players on their TVs. We've got copies of it in any case. So it's just a good way of keeping a copy of all the DVDs that you have in case it gets scratched. Right, these are um, my kind of photo editing suites that I have. iPhoto, which is part of the iLife uh, suite, really good. I don't use that as much anymore because I'm trying to move away from that and go into something a little bit more advanced. Uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements. Now this, I got... Because I sent the letter into Mac format and I got the star letter type of thing. So they give me a, this as a, a, a prize. Um, now for anybody that can't afford in these really difficult times at the minute financially. The likes of Photoshop. This application, this software package, Adobe Photoshop Elements is fantastic. It's a really, really good alternative to uh, Photoshop. To, you know, 
get you doing what you want to do and to ease you gently into something like Photoshop. Uh, this is Aperture, this is Aperture 2, I don't have 3 yet. Um, I love this application, this is obviously by Apple. Uh, Lightroom is pretty similar, you'll have people arguing that Adobe Lightroom is more powerful than Aperture but that's not a, a, a debate for me to get into on this video but they're both advanced photo editing software packages and uh, I use Aperture probably more than I do Lightroom at the minute. Right, these ones here are um, my Adobe Creative Suite CS3, okay, so I'm still quite a far bit, you know, I'm still quite a bit behind. This is Photoshop Dreamweaver and if any of you go to my website www.techplanet30.com you will see that I don't know how to use this package. Um, <laughs> Dreamweaver is for people that are trying to build websites and they want to do it from scratch, build up the HTML code, that type of thing and um, th this puts it all together for you. Obviously Photoshop is self-explanatory, everybody knows that. Adobe Illustrator, Flash and Fireworks. Now I'll tell you the story behind this. Just very quickly, when I went out to buy this software package, this suite, what I was looking for was uh, Photoshop Dreamweaver and Adobe InDesign, which is this one here. Fireworks and Flash, they weren't really, I wasn't really interested in those, but they were part of the suite. When I brought it home, I got confused and I, and I kind of, when I was picking the suite up, I thought Illustrator was what I was after. I thought it was the InDesign, but it wasn't. So... This InDesign, as you can see here, is CS4. This is, you know, when you go onto the website and you can download the 30-day trial package. That's what this is. So hopefully, this will be my next software package that I buy. Uh, Adobe InDesign. And it's basically, it's a desktop publishing, um, you know, like for doing newsletters, that type of thing. It's a lot more advanced than that, but that's what it is. Uh, iWeb, another um, application is part of the iLife suite. Uh, all three of my kids have got their own little websites that their friends from school can go onto and I've done them through iWeb. Really just dead simple where they can put photographs up onto. Uh, iMovie, I do all, all the videos that I edit and put up on YouTube, I do them on iMovie. Uh, really simple, easy to use. ScreenFlow, which is what I'm using now. I also have uh, iShowYou, which is I believe free to download, I'm not too sure. I had to pay for this one. This was £68 or something like that. Uh, iMovie 8's day. From the the days of iMovie 8, um, iMovie 8 was lacking a lot of features, so I downloaded uh, iMovie 8's day, kept it on, and it's just stayed there. Obviously, when they upgraded from 8 to 9, there was 9 was kind of like a, a combination of iMovie 8's day and 8, so I just, I've just kept it on there all the time. Okay, Final Cut Pro, this is another software package I don't know how to use. I've dabbled in it a couple of times. Uh, I watch Eric make um, Apple Soldier. I watch his uh, Final Cut Pro tutorials all the time. Some of them go way over my head, but the majority of them I do try to follow with uh, Eric. Uh, if any of you guys need to see Final Cut tutorials, he's the guy to, to, to look. Also, J Stu Productions, sometimes he puts on Final Cut Pro um, tutorials. Not nearly as often as I would like him to, but he does and they're really good. Um, so I'm learning how to use Final Cut Pro and hopefully one day I'll get it right. Uh, the Tube, this was a, when I subscribed to an Apple magazine for 12 months, they sent me out like a USB stick for so I could watch TV. Um, and that's basically, sorry, sorry, that's basically all that is. Dictionary, self-explanatory. Text edit, which is just kind of like, uh, uh, a little notepad. Okay, Bean. This is uh, this is free. You can download this free off the internet, uh, and it's basically just like Pages. Um, you can see there, it's quite a, an Apple, like a Mac layout. Uh, the feature that I liked about this was this full screen feature, which at the time when I downloaded this wasn't in Pages. So that that was the reason why I bought this or downloaded this because I like the full screen feature. When you're typing, it just goes to the full screen. Uh, the next one here is Avanar. Now Avanar is, um, I love writing and uh, I've wrote, a, I'm almost finished writing a book type of thing and the first two chapters and all that there went off to agents. But as you can see here, you can, you can lay this out. This, this is how it's laid out. You've got chapters up at the top here, characters, you can name all your characters, that type of thing. 
scenes, locations, and you can. Th these are all just ways of keeping notes and tabs on what you're doing when you're writing the book type of thing. Uh, it just gets written in here, but this also has like a full screen mode, so when you're writing in here, uh, you can go full screen. Uh, pages, I love pages. You'll notice here I don't have any Microsoft Office applications, and it's not because I'm against Microsoft or anything at all like that, but for me, pages, uh, the iWork suite is more than enough. Pages, numbers, and keynote. I wouldn't need anything else other than that. Uh, so, so I use pages all the time if I'm writing a letter to somebody. Pages are being mainly pages. Uh, talk, paint. This is uh, for my kids. Everybody knows that. Uh, Grum, right? This is uh, my RSS feed, and you, I showed you earlier on there, the up in the top right hand corner of the screen, these little notices were coming in. They were letting me know that there was new feeds coming in. So, as you can see down here, I've got my folders, all my Apple. Oh, sorry, the, the, this folder here is for, from Apple, Chris Perillo, general feeds, general technology feeds, and in there I've got like loads of different things, CNN, you know, it, load, loads of different feeds coming in there from different uh, technology blogs, sites. I've got my Linux page here, I've got all different Linux things coming in, my Mac, Mac format, Mac rumors, Mac user, Mac world, uh, the Apple blog. Uh, I do have Andy and that goes as well somewhere. Uh, mobile computing, a few site, a few things in there from the mobile world. Uh, news broadcasts, they're just ordinary run of the mill. The register, which is quite good. Twit TV, Windows, different Windows uh, feeds coming in here. Uh, all things digital, which should really go into general technology, really. That's it. So th that's my RSS feed, and uh, it's really, really good, guys. Uh, when you click on something that you want to read about, uh, pops up this second section down at the bottom then when you click on that brings up the uh, the entire story up in a little tab up at the top so you're still not going away from your feeds you can still always see your feeds here at the side so I use this quite a lot I used, before this I used to use um, Net Newswire which is also really really good um, but I, I don't use that as much Really, and by the way, this th these feeds are all tied in with your Google Reader type of um, account. So with my Google uh, Reader account, anything I any RSS feeds I click on, they come into both these. Okay, Modo, Modo is a software package that um, I seen Gareth Hall and said using and Emic, but Gareth Hall, the the tutorials that he's been doing, especially at the minute on the X Wing, are just mind blowing. I mean, it really seriously technical stuff. And I went and got this uh, software application because I wanted to try and do it as well. And I've tried to follow some of Gareth's tutorials and he does them, uh, he simplifies them as best as he can. But for someone as thick as me, I mean, my my attempt at doing the, the, uh, the X-Wing was totally, oh, it was shocking. It looked more like a back end of a bus than it did a bloody X-Wing. Uh, so it was quickly deleted. Um, <clears throat> but that's what it is. It's a 3D modeling software package. Time machine, which is this is my time machine up here, which I was having problems with today, but it's fixed. Twitter, Twitter Riffric, that's my Twitter app. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. App Zapper, I've never really used that, but that's uh, supposedly this is a better way of uh, deleting software from your Mac. Uh, QuickTime Seven, QuickTime Ten. Now I know Quick uh, you know, for some reason I don't know what it is, but when I try to play anything on QuickTime Ten on my Mac, it only plays for a couple of seconds and stops and st starts and stops. And so I, that's the reason why I have QuickTime Seven here as well. Uh, system preferences, uh, applications folder, documents folder, and downloads, and that's pretty much it, guys. I've got a lot more apps and stuff like that, but this is basically what I have in my dock and what I use most of all on a day to day basis. Uh, this is the TV program, the, the tube thing that I showed you earlier on. As you can see you just have your normal TV channels on it here. You just click through them. I do believe that you can use your Apple remote but I haven't tried to get that all set up. Uh, so I better get that off because of copyright. Okay guys that's it. That's my all the applications that are in my dock. I hope it hasn't been too boring for you. And uh, see you all later, guys. Bye.